Yokai Stories. There was a woman by the name of Enjoin who married into the Honda family, and when she was young, she lived in Nokubancho, Sanne Zaka. She lived in a haunted house, and various strange things occurred there. Late at night, as the women gathered by the lanterns to work, one of her friend's faces would suddenly lengthen, and then shorten again. Or a terrifying expression would suddenly appear, and then disappear on her face. It wasn't uncommon for a fire to suddenly start blazing in the tatami room either. And one time, a maid who was supposed to be sick in bed was seen up and cleaning the house in purple socks. Thinking it strange, they went to the woman's room to check on her, and there she was, still lying in bed. And when they went back to where the maid was cleaning, nobody was there. These sorts of strange events kept happening over and over, so in the end, they decided to move to a mansion in Kaga. But there's another story about moving that I heard. On April 1st, 1772, there was a great fire in Edo, known as the Meguro Gyonin Zaka Fire. That same night, as the fire continued to rage, a samurai attendant who lived in the mansion of Kato Matabe, next to the Kagura Zaka Wakamiya Hachiman Shrine, was walking in Ichigaya Sanai Zaka when he came across a beautiful woman crying. He asked her what was wrong and she said her house had burnt down and she had nowhere to go. Well then, why don't you spend the night at my place, he said. Tomorrow, we can look for the whereabouts of your family and friends. The woman looked relieved and followed him. The attendant was overjoyed. Well then, what should I do? I live alone, so there won't be any offence in what I do. He joined the woman in his room, lit a fire, and together they enjoyed some food and drink. At some point, he seemed to have fallen asleep, and when he woke up, he noticed the woman was sleeping as well, but there was now long hairs coming out of her mouth. Huh? What on earth? When he opened his eyes again, the woman had, at some point, turned into a large tanuki who was spread out before the fire and seemed to be quite enjoying it. Oh, you damn tanuki. You sure did trick me, huh? I'll kill you and turn you into a soup. When he attacked the creature, it woke up in surprise and then burst out the window, escaping into the distance. Kato Matabe then moved to another residence, and the old one is now in possession of Ishiki Kimata. Ghost in the Kitchen In the spring of the third year of Gendoku, a foot soldier for Okajima Shozaemon by the name of Matsumura Kinroku fell ill with an infectious disease. His illness grew grave, and so he was sent back to his parents, yet in the end, he was unable to recover, and he passed away. Around 8pm that night, there was a knock at the gate of the Okajima mansion. Who is it? asked the guard. It's Kinnoku. I feel better, so I've come back. The guard found this strange, but he opened the gate and let him in. Before long, there was another knock at the gate. This message comes from Kindoku's parents. He has just passed away. So then, who was that the guard just let in? They searched the mansion, and yet they were unable to find anyone. It must have been a ghost. After that, as the mansion fell quiet each night, Kindoku showed up in the kitchen, frightening those who still lived there. Yet there was one, a servant by the name of Hachisuke, who was rather daring. Regardless of whether it's really a ghost or just a tanuki trying to fool us, it sure is annoying that it keeps showing up night after night. We should get rid of it. And so, he lay in wait in the kitchen by himself. After midnight, just as he suspected, Kindoku appeared. Hachisuke suddenly leapt at him, as the two men tussled, the other residents of the mansion came running, 
each with a light in hand. But when they reached the noise, Kindoku was gone. He had disappeared. After that, whenever Hachisuke tried to pin Kindoku down, he would disappear from his grasp. Sometimes he would appear on top of the house beams, and even though they could see him, they were unable to grab him. This continued nightly for the next 10 days until Hachisuke tired and fell asleep. After that, nobody went to the kitchen at night anymore. The ghost was still there, night after night. But on March 17th, there was a fire and the mansion burnt down. Nobody saw the ghost again after that, and they feared that it might have been the work of a tanuki, kitsune, or even a river otter. The God of Pox In the ninth year of Kyoho, a man by the name of Kutsukawa Magoemon was fishing in the banks of Asano River when he caught what looked like a child in his net. The child appeared to be five or six years old and was able to speak as well. However, the water was so cold that there was no way a child could have survived it. It had to be a monster. Magoemon seized the child and then held him tight. Who the hell are you? he asked. The child spat at him. I am the god of pox, he said. Children have been dying all over the country, so many temples and shrines have put up prayers and charms, and I'm running out of places to hide. I had no choice, so I hid in the water, and then I got caught in your net. So please, spare my life. The kami put his hands together as though begging the man. I see. The god of pox, huh? Well then, I have many children, and some of them still haven't caught pox yet. Swear to me that you will never affect any of my children. Otherwise, I will kill you right now. I am but a lowly being the kami said. Even if you order me, I cannot guarantee that your children won't get infected. However, I can ensure that they won't get seriously ill. Put your name on your front gate. Then your children will not suffer. Hearing this, Magoemon let the kami escape back into the river. His children were thereafter infected, but their illness was not serious. And after hearing that, neighbours who also had children then put the name Kutsukawa Magoemon on their gates, as though it were a protective charm. Kishu Mansion Mystery It was said around the end of July, in the third year of Bunka, a guard who was working the gates at the Kishu Mansion went to get some water because he was thirsty. However, a woman suddenly appeared out of nowhere and bit him on the shoulder. The guard died immediately. Two men came running at the sound of the guard's screams, but when the woman saw them, she bit and killed them too. A short while later, a child who was sleeping beneath a mosquito net in the same tenement suddenly went missing. The net was intact, without a single tear or other disturbance. In a panic, the parents searched here and there for their missing child, but by the next morning, the child's body was reportedly found beneath the veranda of a neighbor's house. The Bathhouse Ghost At a bathhouse in Owaricho, there lived a woman and her mother-in-law who did not get along. When the mother-in-law died, She still held such a large grudge against her daughter-in-law that she turned into a ghost and continued to haunt her. The daughter was brave and able to endure it well, but seeing the ghost of her mother-in-law night after night finally became too much to bear. She sternly told her off, and once she was done, her mother-in-law's ghost disappeared. One night, an elderly woman came running out of the bath, screaming. She claimed there was something suspicious in the bath, and it grabbed her from behind. 
An attendant went to investigate, but they were unable to find anything. Then another woman from the neighborhood also screamed and went running out. There was a baby floating in the water, she claimed. The attendant went again to check, but again found nothing there. These disturbances saw fewer and fewer people use the bathhouse, and so the daughter-in-law feared that all this was the work of her mother-in-law's ghost, who still wasn't ready to leave her alone just yet. <laughs> 